All right, come on in. Check out the Slender House with us. Welcome into the living room. In here, we were faced with a lot of challenges. The primary challenge in here was that we were catering to pets. Our client has dogs and she has cats, like most of our clients, so we really had to get creative. The main thing being no rugs. When a client says that they don't want rugs, oh my gosh, no, like that's the one thing we love. It adds color, it adds pattern, it adds texture. So we had to figure out how to solve for that with other things. We thought of a creative solution when our client has guests that we can throw out an entry mat for her just for that experience. So now her guests feel welcomed when they walk into her home. Up here, we also got creative with the animals. So we found this beautiful mirror that has a little shelf to add a cute vase that we knew her pets couldn't knock over with these fun felt balls that will last forever. The gallery wall. So this was another space where I wanted to bring texture up the wall since we can't do rugs. We have exposed acrylic, some warm wood. These animals were her pets that she had that I thought were so fun. It's another room in the house that we couldn't have rugs and so we got creative again with what we have on the walls. We have beautiful curtains, these pieces that the client made in Japan many, many years ago, and we decided to bring those out to the forefront. I would opt sometimes to not have glass because glass can often make the room feel a little bit colder and when we're adding warmth, but we did have glass here just to preserve these for a really long time. With pets, you know, we're really working on vertical spaces and things that pets can't reach. Another area in here that we worked on was the paint and mm -hmm. the high ceilings. Why don't you tell mm -hmm. us about that a little bit? This room was tricky with the paint just because the ceiling is so high and it splits, this side of the room is a hallway that goes all the way to the bathroom and we didn't want to change the color of the bathroom. Normally you take a seam line to stop the accent paint, but since there isn't one, you chose not to paint this. Right, and we didn't want to keep the room all white because we were trying to add warmth in here because we can't have rugs. It worked. So we picked a warmer color that plays really well with the white and it played well with the bed color that the client already had. Thank you, Miller Paint. So in here, we didn't have to think too long and hard about pets, but we do have this wonderful space that the cats can hang out while our client is enjoying their bath. So in here, we decided we really wanted to add character and bring some life to this space. And so we put the plants on the wall and these containers are really great because there's drainage where most people, when they think, oh, I wanna hang something on the wall, they just put it in a pot without drainage and your plants will die. They look great in a bathroom. And the pets and can't get them. The pets can't get them. We're encouraging people to take the paint up the walls and on the ceiling. Imagine if you had that white and this is pink, it would kind of be blocky and chopped up. You know, the color really feels like it takes over the space and usually we do that with rugs. This rug in here, the reason we have it is because it's an indoor outdoor rug, so the kitties don't like it as much. My client was very hesitant about plants because of her pets, but we decided, you know, if we can get creative, get them on the wall like we had them in the bathroom or in the office where she's in here monitoring, we could go with a big plant because when she's not in here, she can close the door. We decided to have this be the feature behind the Zoom calls. Yeah, we're concerned about pets and plants because they like to dig the dirt out of them and they like to eat. Some of them are poisonous for pets. So it just kind of depends on what animal you have and what their temperament is, but they do like to, to get after these. So we bought this felt organizer for the desk because it's beautiful and adds a lot of warmth and texture, but it has turned into the desk cat bed. My client before had a small drop station bookcase here and it looked really messy, but the biggest problem was she had strangers walking by these windows seeing that her purse was here. So we wanted to build something that would hide her purse and look really nice and fit the aesthetic of the home. So we did, we did art and plants in here to warm up the space. This piece up here, my client painted in high school. We added a plant here the cat couldn't reach. And then over on this side, grabbed another painting that she did in high school and grabbed some pottery that has some good texture to it. Yeah, so this wall, so Miller Paint and our consultant for color, Woodwinkle, both were pushing us on a lighter green color and Diane and I both wanted a dark color. It's in the Northwest color palette by Miller Paint. <laughs> this poor, plant we thought fake plants no way will the cats get them and they sure did they rub their heads on them 
and because they're really thick cardboard, Thank you for watching our YouTube video of the Slender House focused on how to design for pets. We hope you learned something and enjoyed seeing our project. And don't forget to subscribe and what else? Like it, share it, all the things. That's a cat? Oh my God, I almost sat down.